introducing our new model 6214 ultra precision static calibrator. <clears throat> this calibrator gives you more accurate eddy probe measurements than ever before because all possibilities of either electrical or mechanical runout are eliminated. Electrical runout is caused by internal variations in the alloy mix of the target material and they only affect the probe reading if that alloy variation changes due to the rotation of the target material. Therefore, we eliminate the possibility of electrical runout by using a non-rotating target material. Mechanical runout is caused by the surface of the target material not staying perfectly parallel to the surface of the eddy probe throughout the entire measurement process. By mounting the target material on linear bearings, we keep the surface of the target material and eddy probe perfectly parallel throughout the entire measurement process. Here are some of the other features of the Model 6214 Ultra Precision Static Calibrator. The 45 pound holding force magnet will hold the static calibrator to any steel object so it will be convenient for use at virtually any location. The steel plate that is included with the static calibrator is for use whenever you need to work at a location not having a steel surface. The SPI digital micrometer can display in either inch or metric readings so it can be used anywhere in the world. The accuracy of the micrometer is best illustrated when you see that it divides one thousandth of an inch into twenty equal segments. The digital micrometer also eliminates the inherent operator judgment errors that always occur when using an analog micrometer. The target material is mounted on an adjustable base that will enable you to test virtually all different size probes. It is locked in place by turning the round locking nut located beneath the main plate. Unlock it, move it to the location where it contacts the eddy probe, lock in place, and we're set to go. The proprietary universal probe grippers will hold any diameter probe up to three quarters of an inch. No more collets or interchangeable probe holders required. I loosen the knob, I can now move it out, I turn in clockwise direction to lock it in place. Then I would go ahead and move this up against the surface of the probe, lock that in place and I'm set to go. During our four plus years of making any probe calibrators, we have found that most calibrator damage occurs during shipping. For that reason we have added the following. A shipping support plate that has a felt pad. It's located between the grippers and the target material. You press the target material forward and lock it in place. If you suspect that the calibrator alignment has been damaged during shipment or handling, you can simply turn the support plate around to check that the target material is still perfectly aligned with the probe holder, as follows. Turn this around, put it back in, close this, and lock it in place. Now you can look at it to see that it's absolutely parallel to the plate. We have also found that if the calibrator case is dropped or it is subjected to excessive vibrations, as illustrated here, impact from the front like this, that impact force can be transmitted through and through the shaft of the micrometer and damage the inner workings. So for that reason, we have added internal means to separate the target material portion from direct contact with the micrometer shaft while the calibrator is being shipped. And that's accomplished by backing off until you see this red flag come all the way out. Now that's the amount of separation between the shaft of the micrometer and the port over here. Each static calibrator comes with a spare battery and instructions for changing said battery.
The Allen wrench needed to change the battery is located in a compartment above the holding magnet. And you access that by simply turning the knob, losing it, and it'll drop out here. Be sure to place it back when you're through.